Hi there, thanks for um, checking out our video here. This is going to be a testing video showing a couple of Gallagher units I got in for repair today. We got a uh, M600, which is a six store jewel unit by Gallagher. And we also had gotten in a M300 Gallagher, which is a three jewel. And so they're, see they're a little bit smaller unit um, than the 600. Um, about half the power coming out of it, but they're both really good units. Uh, most of, uh, well, well, pretty much all of the Gallagher stuff is a pretty good, solid, reliable unit. So if you're looking for a, a new Energizer because you're tired of wasting money on other ones, if you want to spend money on a, on a good unit, um, I preferably like the Gallagher stuff uh, over some of the other brands. Some of the other brands aren't so bad. They just seem to have their quirks with them that go bad with them. I mean, most brands have some kind of issue somewhere that things go bad, um, either from age or stress or lightning, but uh, Gallagher seems to be a pretty solid, reliable product. So that's my two cents on that. Um, well, we're gonna plug in these units. All right, get power there. Plug this one in. Okay. All right, so I'm going to just kind of do these side by side. Best we can. I think I'll do the 600 first. All right, this uh, unit has um, just a, a roll of lights that flash on there, has a little check mark uh, deal on, shows you the power's on. Um, sometimes these bulbs burn out, sometimes they get shifted on the inside and you can't hardly see them, or, or it gets crud behind this this front sticker here and it blocks off that little window but it's just a power light till the power's on that that's all it is um if this is flashing you know power's on um but we repaired the 600 and the 300 uh for a customer uh, let me take the knobs off real quick and what's nice about these gallagher units is uh they've got these black knobs with the red and green insert caps in them they have the red uh, the little fence lightning bolt terminal and the little ground terminal on there if you ever lose a knob or the cap pops out or you drop the knobs you pick them up and like okay which knob went where for my fence and ground what Gallagher does on a lot of their units is they've got the little symbols engraved into their case uh, for the lightning and the ground for the uh, symbol on there so if you can reverse the knobs you know put them over there it won't really monitor as long as you get the fence on the correct terminal and the ground on the correct terminal um, I'll go ahead and take the knobs off the 300 at the same time and in this particular deal the knobs are the same on both units uh, the same thread same size and everything so we'll turn the 600 on and I'll put a tester across it should be about seven to nine thousand volts coming out of it And about seven and a half, which is right where it's supposed to be. Most of the Gallagher, uni Gallagher units are between six and nine. Uh, there's a few that hit a little higher, a few that hit a little lower, but majority of the Gallagher stuff hits between 6,000 and 8,000, 9,000 volts on the high side. But that's just the, the voltage, the joules is what shocks the animal, so that's what changes between the, all the different models is the joules. The voltage could be the same on every single unit, but the power coming out of the unit is going to be different between all of them because the jewels is actually what is shocking the fence and what the animal feels. So the more jewels you have, the harder the shock is to the animal, the bigger the fence you can run, the easier it is to fight through shorts and grass and vegetation on the fence. Um, so that's, that's on that. Turn this unit off. Flip the 300, M300 over here. This has almost the same kind of setup, has a row of lights similar to the 600 and has a little green bulb there that lights up turning the powers on. These bulbs burn out either from stress or lightning or just go bad. They have no effect on the operation of the unit. Uh, it's just a power that tells you the power's on. And this also has the uh, engraved fence and ground terminals on the case, which is pretty nice. This one's hitting about 9,000 volts. So this unit is half the joules, but about 1,500 volts more 
than what that 600 did. So you can't always judge how strong a unit is by its voltage. It's that joules, and I'll show you a, a spark deal on this, and you'll see the um, difference in shock power between the two units. I'm just going to get a, a chunk of wire here. find one that's long enough but what we'll do is we'll take a piece of wire and it's gonna make it long enough to get to each unit and then we'll just hit touch the ground and get real close to the red terminal or fence terminal and we'll see how strong of a pulse it puts out so this will show you that voltage is good to have because you need that voltage to push that shock around the fence but when the animal actually gets shocked they're feeling the jewels and the current that's um, being uh, delivered by the unit so we'll do the M300 first remember it was 9,000 volts it's only three store jewels so the 600 is, was about 7,500 volts and it's six store jewels or you know, three, three stored versus six stored so we're going to touch the ground and we get real close to the fence so it's got a decent shock to it there's no doubt about that now we'll do the 600 we'll touch the ground and we'll get real close to the fence Come on. I just gotta get uh, let me get a different angle here. It's just hard to get that to stay on there. So you can see, I mean they're, they're darn close when it comes to the brightness of the pulse or brightness of the flash on this on the spark. Um, but uh, this one definitely was a little bit louder, a little bit brighter of shock. The other thing, I don't have any uh, deal right here to show this, but when you you take a load um, and put it across there, um, the 600 has more energy stored inside, so it'll power through the load a lot better. Um, I can't find my load tester right at this minute, but um, anyways, if we put a load across this one, Say you put a load across this, this 300, the same load, say a 500 ohm load, you put it across here, it would drag it down more than it would on this one. So this one, say it was hitting 9,000, and it was in all the way in the green on this fence performance gauge. You put that 500 ohm load across it, it would probably drop it down around 4 uh, kV, give or take, and it would probably drop it into the yellow. So it lose about 5,000 volts on its on its pulse, on its output. This one, you know, was seven and a half kV all the way at the green, put that same 500 ohm load across these terminals and probably dropped down to about 5,500 volts, somewhere in that range. And the light may still fall into the upper yellow, mid yellow somewhere, maybe upper green or lower green area. So the load wouldn't drag it down as far and would lose a lot less voltage. So it only lose about 1500 volts, 2000 volts, somewhere in, in that range. Um, so that's a little thing on joules and loads. I don't have a load tester here at the moment. I've got one. It's just uh, hiding in this on my workbench somewhere. And I don't see it uh, real quick. Um, but anyways, so that's a little thing on joules and, and um, voltage and loads on these different units and this goes this the saying uh, across all brands and all models you know the more joules you have whether it's stored or output joules the more power you're going to have on the fence but then the you know the more money you fork over for those joules so it's like having a you know the more horsepower in an engine or in a vehicle that you want um, the the uh, uh, the more money you're going to pay, so that's that's the thing. Because this thing is probably when they were selling these things, they were about three hundred dollars. This was probably two hundred dollars. So they've got new models out now. They've got a, a smaller one and a bigger one to this one. They got an M five sixty, 
and they've got an M800 that uh, kind of phased this particular unit out. And then they've got, uh, they don't make this one anymore, they make an M, a one bigger, one smaller, they make a, or, no, they make a bunch bigger. But they got one a little bit bigger, it's called an M360, and they have one a little bit smaller called an M160. So um, those are what's out there nowadays uh, for to replace these units with. But this was um, pretty uh, reasonable to fix, uh, and so was this one. So you can always buy a new one and get a good full three-year warranty on the new Gallagher stuff, um, and or you know get your old Gallagher fixed by us, um, which uh, you know we'll give you a free estimate on the units, 18-month uh, warranty on the unit that we repair, and that does include uh, lightning damage. So. Um, if you ever have any questions, uh, you can visit us on our website, which is uh, fencerfixer.com. It's F is in Frank on both fencer and fixer. And, uh, you know, we'll help you with troubleshooting, uh, parts, repairs, uh, questions about troubleshooting an electric fence or troubleshooting an energizer. Um, but we work on all brands of all ages. Uh, don't matter how old it is. Uh, there's no charge for us looking at it, so you get a you know free once over on it see what's going on with it and then we'll call you or email you with a quote and you can give us the thumbs up or the thumbs down on the repair and i would say about 95 percent of what we work on people still fix is only those select few units that come through that just aren't worth fixing because they're just either too cheap on the inside um the way that they're built and you know the cost of the parts compared to the cost of a new unit just doesn't you know doesn't seem reasonable to put the money into it or you know the parts are so old and, and deteriorated you can't tell what they are and you can't you know you can't get the parts for it anymore but we try our best to always fix something um, and try to work with you on a price if that seems fair to you so um, give us a holler if you ever need any help hit the uh, subscribe button if you'd like hit the thumbs up button if you'd like that we got questions about the volts jewels on your unit or just in general how this stuff works um, give us a holler down in the comments uh, box below uh, through an email um, contact uh, box on our website um, but we appreciate you checking us out uh, we're always here for repairs and questions so until we do another video we will see you later